Welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is an M5355. It's the Tier 9 American SPG. And we're located on the north spawn of Overlord. And it's being commanded by Fender Bender. Now you can see a pair of M55s here. They're both M55s because they've both got the 8 inch barrel. And they both got marks of excellence on their barrels as well. So this looks like it could be quite an interesting game. That was started. Now the M55 is one of the fully enclosed artists in the game, so you can actually use vents. And Fender Bender is uh, using, or actually has there, the skin provided by Sir Rusty with the What Art You Need skin with our logo on the side and that nice chrome work on it. Actually says US Army on the front of the vehicle. Okay, he's headed to uh, the east side of the battlefield, is it the west side? It's the west side because we're on the north end. Okay, and he's aiming at the enemy. Now we've got something tight. This is a tier 10 game on the 357. He fires around the Grand Arm and immediately gets into cover. And unfortunately, I don't think we've got a hit there. It could be that he hit the windmill, but. It's got a number of targets he can shoot at now. Now the uh, M55, it's 80 shells, got an alpha damage of 1050 on a penetration rate of 52. Now it won't mean that you get the full 1050 every time you get in, but uh, you probably won't penetrate every time. But you've got a hit there on the Samur for 536. And I suspect that he probably did penetrate that Samur. This is a bit of a glass cannon, that tier 8 French auto-loading heavy tank. Now what he's doing is he's extending the aim over the edge of the cliff. You can see he's got the red line on the vehicle there, or had the red line on the vehicle. But by extending the aim over the cliff, he was making the shell go through the vehicle before it impacted. And he fires the round in and another direct hit, 492. And the Samur has gone down, so he's picked up the stun assist. He was killed by the uh, Type 5 Heavy. Okay, number of targets to fire at. The medium tanks would be the best ones to fire at because you'll get more damage on those. And it looks like he's going to go for that T62A. There's also a Lorraine 40 ton. That's also got weak armor. Riding in round out, and yes! There's a splash for 194 that time. But a nice stun on it as well, and that's going to help his team. And yes, he's picked up some stun assist. Now, Fender Bender does play a lot of games in his M55. I know that because I've seen a lot of his replays, and he does get some really good shots in as well. He is practiced at getting accurate hits on the enemy. Okay, almost ready to go. Work out where he's going to be. And fire the round in. Now that landed on the ground, but I think it splashed the target. Yes, it did. The 40 ton is damaged. He, his tracks were blown off. And he had some stun. retreating there under fire from the type 5 and we're almost loaded but not quite he's tempted to go for the 50 TP I think the 50 ton Polish tank ready to go and round out oh yes 368 I thought that was going to be a little too late to go behind the 50 TP but he stopped and he took the shell square on He's picked up the stun assist, so he's now to 1.5k damage, 1.1 stun assist. And the game's only been going for four minutes. They're leading by four tanks at the moment, but that crab barn is pushing ahead, even so. He's behind that building at the moment, so it's going to be a difficult target. But that E75 is going to be an easier one to hit. Round out, should be a hit. It is. 382. 
Now, any experienced starting player will tell you immediately when they see a shell fired, they'll say, yep, that one's definitely going to hit. No problem at all. The E75 has been killed, so he picked up more stun assist off that one. I suppose it comes from having played enough RT games that you know if a shell looks good, if it's going to strike the target. Mind you, sometimes they do surprise us. Okay, we're loading. Ready to go. Lined up. Yep, that's good. And it is 407. And some more stun assist. He snapped a 2.4k of damage. 1.9k of stun assist. And the Cranbon skill. So that adds to the total. And the enemy is now down to just four vehicles. One medium, one tank destroyer, and both of their arties. And we know where the 704 and the T62 are, but we just don't know where the arties are at the moment. But we can do a lot of damage to that 704 because he's down to a one shot. We can splash him and we're loaded, but we didn't fire, thank God, because he's dead. And so we can go after that T62A. We don't know where the arties are yet. It looks to me like the T-62 has retreated. Everyone's closing in on his position. We've got the Type 5 Heavy moving up from the beach. And there's the T-Type T-62. Oh, and he's dead before our shell arrives. So we're going to have to reload to... Have a go at the arties, but there's still two arties out there. A bat chat 155.55 and an F53. And I just saw the tracer from an arty just slightly to the left of where we're looking right now. So both arties are in the same area on the east side of the map. And they're about all 50 yards apart to 100 yards. Oh, there's the F53.55 running, and he's dead. And that means the bat chat 155.55 is the last one. They didn't move far from the spawn point, which is just near that house. And I think we're waiting to see the tracer. We've fired one in. It knocks the tree down. Yep, they're going to find him any second. There he is. Oh, you did. You stunned him. He was really close by when you fired. <laughs> and it's, he's been killed. And that's end of game. And here's the end of battle results. It's a first class tanker for Fender Bender in the M55. He also managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got nine. And he got a confederate medal for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. And the win eight for that battle was 2385. So let's have a look at team score. Well, he did get the highest damage in the game, but he didn't pick up the high caliber for some reason. 2,825 hit points total. Uh, the next high score was Conway with 2,677. And then the 704 on the enemy team managed to get 2,425. When it came to kills, uh, it was actually Type 5 Heavy you managed to get the most. He got four, the Conway got three, the KV-4 got three. And then the other M55 managed to get two. Fender Bender didn't get any kills at all during that battle, unfortunately. But I think that contributed towards him getting the Confederate medal. Uh, when it came to base XP, he was right at the top of the table, 984. Then came the ELC M90 with 925. And I suspect that's because he did a lot of spotting. Well, he did 1,655 spotting. And then we got the VK 101P with 820. Fender Bender fired 10 rounds during that battle. He got four direct hits, four penetration, and four splash. Damage of 2,825 hit points, all at more than 300 meters. He damaged seven of the enemy, but didn't get any kills, but he did get 2,181 hit points of stun assists off eight stuns. On a standard account, he earned 33,910 credits. He got 14,242 credits from mission completion, and that brought up a total of 48,152. After ammunition resupply, he had 29,452 credits left over. He received one bond for the Confederate. He also earned 984 um, base XP, got 1,397 for mission completion, so he took home 2,381 experience points altogether. So a particularly good battle there for Fender Bender, another medal for his uh, crew, uh, which I'm sure he'll appreciate. 
and uh, every time he takes the M55 out it seems that he'll pick up some medal or other so I'm pretty sure we'll be seeing him in this vehicle very very shortly in another replay. So if you enjoyed that replay please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.